that is sewing section of the branded complete collection pack. Now you pick one of the weave on plaques, the warp, and gently lay it across the edge of the first row of the front corner and you sew it. You can see, you sew it in at the edge. Making sure that you solidify the front. This is really important that the sewing in at the edge is very secure. Now, once you've got that, you pick the front row edge of the weave of the three-in-one technique. One of the first, second rows of the three-in-one technique here. You pick it up and using the weave on flat extension here, you sew in with a needle and pick up, pick up and sew it into the edge of the three in one hair piece. You sew it in and you sew it back in again into the weave on extension. Watch. It's sewn in into the edge of the weave on plait extension. You pick up the three in one technique piece of hair and join it in again. And you come back on the same three in one and join it back again into the weave on plait extension. And this is what you continue doing until all the hair. has been added into this three in one in the front. This section is very important. It goes in and it comes in again into the next hair as you can see. Take another row and you sew it in again into the warp and you sew it back in again and pick up another one. As we now approach the side section, we can now join the warp extension into the braided part of the hair. Initially, when this was done, this was attached to the, the three-in-one pieces of hair. It wasn't actually con um, sewn onto the braids, the cornrow braids. We are now going to sew this into the cornrow braids. This is where we start. And the way we do it is also unique. We, we go right into the braid, the cornrow braid, and now into the warp extension. And we go from the other side. We use the needle and go right in again into the front row. We, the reason why this has to be done is for the hair to be at the edge, the very edge of the front row. It has to be at the very, very, very edge like that. So this has, this has to be done on the very first front row and the second front rows of the hair. As you can see, I'm going in and I'm coming back again to take it off from the other side. It goes in and it goes into the comb room and comes out through the other side and it comes out from the comb room into the warp extension. And we we'll carry on. to the back con row and then as we approach the side comes in again comes out from the other side and 
and now you join it to the front comb row, which is what we are coming to. And then it goes in and it comes back again. Now finishing the first con row. Great. That's the first weave on plait that we're finishing here. And we're going to pick up with another weave on plait extension. Another needle. We we'll take another piece. Remember that the weave on plaits in the complete collection pack, we have six. We have six of these individual weave ons. We join it from here again, making sure that the edge is securely attached. Now approaching the second row of the con row that we've done here. So you have to do this in and out only on the first and on the second con rows of the, of the hair. Come back again to the side the second con row in, it goes in and it comes out again. Approaching the third corner at the back. Which is a zigzag section that we made earlier. A few seconds we now approach the third row. We can now begin to sew the hair normally, as in not or any ordinary sewing. In the second section, the second one we are finishing it now. We are coming to the third. And then we can now start sewing normally. Right. This should take somebody approximately 15 minutes to finish the cornrow sewing. So the majority of the work is in the flatten of the front section of the hair and the three-in-one technique section. The very easy bits are the sewing. So as we're coming to the zigzag section, we now fold over and follow the shape of the cornrow as we go along. Hair finishes here. That's the second piece of hair that we're using. 